I do feel there were some positives to come out of the call. I think what the company's doing in terms of simplifying, getting rid of some businesses that are maybe not core focus, makes some sense, clearly paying down some debt. But we reiterated, we reiterated our underweight rating this morning and uh, you know, feel very good about that right now. Ken, you asked two fairly pointed questions on the call, one about whether they really are open to selling themselves and the other sort of pointing to the board and saying, well, you're now selling things that you approved the purchase of, but you're going to be selling them for a lot less than you bought them for. Were you satisfied with any of the answers you received? I don't think I'm ever satisfied with any answer, but I think in particular, the point I was trying to make was this is not just the decision of the prior CEO right, to go down the road of acquisitions that led the company down the wrong path. The board is, you know, has made some of these mistakes too, and I kind of wanted to just bring up the fact, regardless of the answer, that somebody on the board, sh you know, their feet should be held to the fire as well for some of the mistakes that have been made over the years. John, is the company for sale or not? Uh, we don't think so. We think at this point in time you're seeing packaged food valuations very compressed you know, relative to the market. We see Campbell as a real turnaround story, which would be embedded in any sort of bid they would receive. And we think after almost a half billion dollars of cost savings over the past four or five years, the amount of synergies left for an acquirer really aren't all that great. So you know, we think to sell the company now, you're really not maximizing the value. And we do think it's better off trying to kind of repair the ship internally. Yeah, well, they seem to agree with you, John, this idea that they're going to be able to focus on the cost cutting, delivering the synergies from the Snyder Lance deal, uh, and just basically have two key segments and then sell off what they hope will be a better 19. I guess, John, my question and many investors' question is can they pull it off? Can they actually execute given their track record is not particularly good? Well, we think what we learned this morning in terms of an increased willingness to spend back behind the business, increased advertising, spend lower price points in soup, you're really going back to the basics, correcting what's gone wrong you know, over the past three or four years as they push for short-term margins over, over longer-term revenue growth. So we think it's a step in the right direction. There are a lot of moving parts. The integration of Snyder's Lance will be a big issue. Uh, and you know, we would almost like to have seen a little bit more of a, of a longer time frame, maybe a two- or a three-year time frame, rather than just coming at it with, with a one-year uh, recovery for the business. So we do think they have given themselves a little, little bit limited cushion to, to operate. Ken, sounds like you, you don't agree. I mean, can they fundamentally turn around this business? Soup sales declining another 14% over the quarter. What's going to happen differently? Well, to the company's point, they are lapping some very difficult periods last year where they lost some big promotions at Walmart. So there's nothing like easy comps to get your numbers looking in the right direction. But we do believe that their long-term outlook that they reinforced in some lines today and actually raised in other lines today is too aggressive. We were a little bit surprised that they didn't take that outlook down a little bit. We think the company uh, will be hard pressed to reach one to two percent organic top line long term. Ken, the nominating window for directors is open. Dan Loeb, of course, is a large owner here. Very well may choose to come with a slate to try and replace those directors. If he does, Given the math and the fact that Durant's family, certainly two members of the board, own about 37 percent of the stock, do you think he still can gain traction with the shareholder base? Well, first of all, let me just say I have a great deal of respect for Third Point and Dan Loeb uh, in, in particular. I think they're tremendous activists, and if they can figure out a way to make this uh, investment of theirs worth it, they're going to figure out that way. Along the lines of your question, though, I think that there's a little bit of a difficulty in what they can do, or in this case, just because of the fact that the Durant's family Bennett Dorrance, Mary Alice Malone basically control a third of it. They need two thirds of the stock to make any major changes like a sale. It's going to be very challenging in this case, but you know, maybe third point sees something that we don't necessarily see. It, John, how likely is uh, Kraft Heinz a suitor here? We think it's a very, very low probability event. We think, you know, in terms of Kraft Heinz, you know, they're looking to build more international distribution. I think the last thing they want to really do is just you know, deepen their exposure to, to the U.S. Soup food business soup, slow growing category, margin rebasing ahead for the, their most profitable segment. So you know, we think Kraft Heinz is much more inclined to focus on fixing their own ship, getting cheese, nuts and meat back to growth, and then waiting for a you know, better global investment longer term.